Hello and welcome to a POSCatch.com product presentation and today we are going to show you how to create a UPC barcode label for free and how to format a UPC barcode label correctly and lastly how to print sheets of barcode labels from Microsoft Word. In order to create the barcode itself, you need to go to poscatch.com and we'll open up our website here. <laughs> uh, easy way to get to the uh, barcode generator is just scroll down the page and then you'll see a big barcode here and it says click here to make free 1D barcodes. Just click on that. and then this is the actual barcode generator itself this is where we'll format your UPC barcode now uh, we also have an online tutorial that shows you instructions step by step on how to do this so go ahead and click here it says please click here for a tutorial just click on that it's going to open up a new screen for you and this is actually the tutorial right here so a UPC barcode is broken down into four unique sections comprising of 12 total characters and the first character is what they call a number system character and that's the leading digit for all UPC barcodes and that number system character will be a 0, a 1, a 6, a 7, or an 8. So you would choose from those digits to be your number system character. The second set of digits is five digits for your manufacturer numbers. That's the identifying number for the manufacturer. The third set of digits is the product identifier or, or item number. Now, it's not you don't have to use the actual item number for the product, but you do want a set of five digits in the UPC barcode that identifies that product, whether it's uh, you know, a can of chicken noodle soup or a candy bar, whatever it is. And then the last digit is what they call a check digit. It's also known as a check sum digit. Uh, this is very important. Uh, we'll get a little bit more into that later as far as the formatting of a check digit. Uh, you would click on this link right here and then we already have the page opened for you. This is the page, the gs1.org website. This is uh, the Global Language of Business website. This is actually the organization that controls uh, barcodes. It's a, it's a, pr a private uh, organization. Uh, nonprofit. Uh, so what you do is you paste in the uh, your total of 11 digits and you put those in here and this is an example that we have right here and then you hit calculate and see that your check digit is 9 for these 11 for these 11 numbers right here the formula, the, the algorithm, the correct uh, check digit is 9. So this is a, a fully functional UPC barcode number. We can now begin to format them correctly to be printed on labels in Microsoft Word. So we'll go back to our tutorial here and we actually have a quick tutorial on how to uh, do the correct settings in our barcode generator uh, and we have it right here where it says UPC barcode label size so the standard UPC barcode label size is 1.5 by 1 inches dimension and we have the settings right here for our barcode generator so we're going to go back to our barcode generator and this is our uh, sample number right here so the so to format this to get the correct size we want to bring the bar width down to one we want and then we also want to bring the height down to a factor of 60 and then we want to leave the margin default at 10 uh, you don't need to uh, make changes to any of these others 
other settings right here. You just need to do the first three. So change the bar width to 1, the height to 60, and the margin to 10. And this is your UPCA barcode right here with the full 12 digits including your check digit. Now what you want to do is you want to right click on this and then you want to save picture as so what we're going to do is we're going to download a .png image file of this barcode. And by the way, uh, you'll want to do all of this with the barcode generator that we have in Microsoft Edge. Our barcode generator works best in Microsoft Edge. So go ahead and click on Save Picture As. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll do uh, barcode barcode test one and see it's saving as a PNG file and then just hit save so once you have your file saved and you can view it like this the next thing you want to do is open up Microsoft Word you can print your barcode labels so the first thing you want to do is go up here to the menu bar and click on mailings and then the next thing you want to do is go down here to the menu ribbon and click on start mail merge click on that and then go down to labels click on that And it's going to, Microsoft Word is going to open up a new dialog box. And uh, we highly recommend using the Compu label uh, here under Label Vendors. There are other vendors you can use, but uh, we find that the Compu label is a good one. It's very cost effective and it has a great template for Microsoft Word to be able to do this. Uh, and again, it is a uh, 1.5 by 1 label. So this is already preset to the Compu label right here. And then you want to set the product number to the B10151. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. And there you go. So here you see uh, the outline of grid squares. Um, these are actually the outline of where your labels are going to be. Uh, quite easily bring in your barcode image into these squares. So you just simply right click and then hit paste. And there you go. And then do it again if you want. And then hit paste. And you may need to readjust it. If it doesn't go in correctly, just go like this. There you go. Say you want to uh, print on all 50 labels that are on this page right here. And that's quite easily done. So we'll go ahead and we'll delete these out of here so we can show you. So you simply just highlight all of the grid squares. And then what you do on your keyboard, you will want to hit the you will want to enter the keys control V and look at that and it pastes in 50 of those barcodes into this sheet of labels now these are ready to go uh, when you go to print uh, it would be best to print to a laser printer if you can for the highest quality Okay, so I'm going to show you a sheet of labels right here. This is what it looks like when it's fully printed. So we're just going to test these here. So I'm going to open up Notepad. And I have a barcode scanner here already plugged in, USB barcode scanner ready to go. And then we're just going to go ahead and scan some of these so you can see. See that? Scans right away. Okay, so these work. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one off here. I'm just going to go like this. See? So this is a awesome way 
to be able to create and print high quality functional UPCA barcode labels for free. If you have any questions about this, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us or visit our website at poscatch.com. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.